Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic and we also open up old school magic mail because we're having another mail day video today. I know it's been a while, so I want to use this moment also to show you some crazy stuff that I got lately. Like, I mean, check this out. This is beautiful. This came from the City of Angels, the old school playgroup. I mean, wow. Like the Sarah with the glasses. It's a pin. So you can wear it. I mean, that's amazing. They also sent me their patch, which is next level as well with the cutout. That's crazy. Talking about patches, I also got this from the Marema Old School Group from Italy. Beers and boars. I believe they're based in Tuscany. But forgive me if I'm wrong, but they're really great. Like I've got so many awesome patches. And then I got some really cool altars lately, like this one from Peter. It's made by Buddy. And Buddy has made some more altars for me. I'll put his, uh, his Instagram uh, in, the, in the video here. So if you want, you can visit. I think he takes orders, but I asked yeah, super cool. So this is the Tim obviously saying he's in the tank, which is a phrase I use quite a lot. So that's why Peter chose this phrase. And then if you look closely, who's there in the tank? <laughs> I mean, this is super cool, right? So I love this card and I'm, I'm definitely going to use it. I have kind of a deck for it, but maybe I should build a new deck with astronauts transmogran if you've got ideas feel free to leave uh, those in the comments below and while we're talking about buddy making altars he also uh, was selling this altar at the often troll cup and this is of course uh, david bowie and he's the goblin king in the movie the labyrinth so i don't know if you're familiar with that but there he plays the goblin king so that's where this altar comes from and i've had great fun playing with this actually I played at a tournament and it worked really, really well. So this Goblin King is giving me good luck. So I'm definitely going to use this one a bit more. It's uh, just a lot of fun. Goblins is so old school. I know it's not the best to do when you're playing aggro or aggro red, whatever, but it's goblins, you know, it, it, it's a thing you got to do, I think at least. Um, and then we have something else because uh, Jeff Mangus was also at the Often Troll Cup. Uh, this series, by the way, the video series are on the channel right now. So if you've missed anything or you want to see the matches, uh, I'll pop up a little link right now where you can click on and you can check out the playlist. Um, but he was selling, of course, his artist proof. So this is an artist proof. And I asked him if he had a moment uh, to make a wizard on it. So look at look what he did. He drew this wizard who's holding the chalice. And then there are also four other artifacts here. Have a look. So two there in his right hand and two at the bottom. Let me know what artifacts do you think are on the uh, on this uh, picture? I think it's really cool. It's really nice. I don't know if it really conveys over uh, the camera, but there's so much detail. detail and if you then realize it's made in, uh, in a short amount of time, I mean, that's pretty amazing. So I'm just going to slide it back in there. Let me put this one back in as well. So some cool altars for me to play with. Talking about cool stuff, I also bought this card, the Erati Berserker, which is, I know, I know, it's ridiculously bad. I could see people in the comments going, it's so bad. I know, I know, but it's so cool as well, right? I mean, it's five mana, three red and two for a card from Legends. A Summon Berserker, so only for the name alone, you got to play it, right? This beautiful autograph. I got it from Edo. Thank you, Edo, for uh, being willing to, to sell it to me. And it's in beautiful condition. And uh, when I bought it from him, I had to make the promise that I was going to play with it. So yes, Edo, I am going to play with it. Uh, I have a pretty crazy deck planned, uh, but more about that later in the video, I think. But um, yeah, obviously it's all about Rampage. So let's, um, let's open up some posts, shall we? Let's have a look. Let's start with this one, talking about Rampage. I believe there are some Rampage cards in here. I mean, Rampage overall is just really bad. There we go. There we go. This is probably the receipt. These are cards I ordered via Magic Card Market, if you're wondering. Um, these ones come from the Czech Republic. Yeah, I guess this is what I ordered. Let's see. So this is a red card with Rampage, and it's not the Arati Berserker. Does that help? Oh, there we go. There you can see it already. The Frost Giant. And Frost Giant, yes, it's also a really bad card. So in case you don't know how Rampage works. So this card is Rampage 2. So that means when I attack with the Frost Giant, 
and my opponent blocks it with more than one creature. So with two creatures, for example, it gets plus two plus two per extra creature that blocks it um, after the first creature. So two creatures means plus two plus two. Three creatures means twice plus two plus two. So it would become an eight eight. Now the problem, of course, is that, you know, this is six mana. You know what else is six mana in red? Gonna give you a moment here. <laughs> exactly. Sheevan Dragon. So you can cast a Sheevan Dragon, which is a 5-5 five, five flyer, like a huge problem. Or you can cast a Frost Giant. I love people that choose to cast a Frost Giant nonetheless. Also love the art. Interesting fact um, about the art, like little little Easter egg, that the, um, the art for two-headed giant was commissioned to um, to two artists for some reason, Daniel Gallen and to Anson Maddox. And they chose Anson Maddox's art. And this art, they kept it and they then put it on the Frost Giant later on. So it's pretty, pretty cool. And I believe I ordered four of these because yes, I'm going to play all four together with the four Irati Berserkers. And I've got to give credits to Bricks for Kids because he just made this, I saw, he made this insane list for, for a Rampage deck. And I'm not going to show it to you yet because I just want to build it. And when it's done, I'll make a video and I'll talk about it and stuff. But, you know, um, it's it's a super cool list. So I just had to get the pieces. So this is Frost Giant. I guess that's... I thought there was another card, to be honest. Let's see. But maybe I'm mistaken. Is there more in here? Yep, there is. Ah, another Erati Berserker. So believe it or not, I think I've got five Erati Berserkers now. That's 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 a little excessive. So yeah, I'm probably just probably gonna gonna give this away to a patron. I think we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, we've got the uh, rampage package here. Um, there is, by the way, over here a FedEx package that I'm gonna open today. Pretty insane. I'm just gonna wait for that till the end. Uh, let's let's oh oh this is pretty cool too. By the way, let's do this first. These has two altered. There are two altered cards in here. Okay, we don't want to show any address, so I'm just going to have a quick look. Um, how is this sent? Look, it's kind of like wrapped around it. Can I just slide it out? I can. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Check out. No, ooh, more addresses. Got to be so careful these days. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, what's the English name for this? In Dutch, you say Trutelbeertje. Oh, that is hilarious. That is hilarious. These are stickers. Oh, that's awesome. I love stickers. Here we, by the way, see what I ordered. There are two Tims in here. Oh, wow. Wow, this is so cool. Check this out. Oh, da, da, da. oh this needs to go into one of my deck boxes. This is fantastic. Oh, thank you so much. That is so cool. That is so cool. Um, so I bought these two altars for obvious reasons. I, these are the first Timmies that I've bought again because all the Timmies in my collection I got, believe it or not, uh, which is one of the cool things about the old school community. You know, people see me making the videos and they go like, wow, it's so cool what you do here. I'm gonna send you my unlimited Tim or here I'm gonna send you like, I also got alpha Tims and stuff, it's crazy. Um, but when I saw these altars, I had to get them. Uh, Edo pointed them out to me. He said, you know, someone is selling these. And like one of my favorite decks to play, obviously, is Timmy's Spellbook. And look at this. This is an altar made by Douglas Schuller. And of course, this is the Jam Day Tome. So this is literally the deck's, basically the deck's name, right? Timmy's Spellbook. So obviously, I had to get them. Slight problem that I have now is these, there were, there were only two for sale. So I need to get two more. So maybe ask Douglas uh, to make it, or maybe there are two more somewhere floating around in the magic universe. So if you have two more or know where I can find them, please let me know. Pretty crazy, right? Really, really good condition cards, by the way. Let's, uh, let's also take one of them out. Be very careful. Yeah, I like this. I like the way he's done it. It's very subtle. It's a small little altar. It's not a big deal. You can kind of see the magic here going to the Tim, like the knowledge. And that's what Timmy's Spellbook is all about, right? He, he goes on the pirate ship seeking knowledge. And he takes with him the Spellbook from the college that he's leaving, right? So he's on Talarius, leaving Talarius, leaving school. And he's going to go into the world. And, you know, he takes the Spellbook with him. 
to go and try to find the pieces of power. So this is really the anthem of the deck. You know, this is what the deck's all about. So um, super, super cool. Let me put it in here. Okay. Oh, wait, this is the wrong one, I think. Yeah. Can't wait to try to get... I really need two more now. That's the thing. But I also saw some other stickers. <laughs> I love this stuff, man. Truto beta stickers. That's insane. Look at how cool these are. That is so funny. I love the blue one. No, 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 no. I'm countering your spell. Oh, horrible blue players. Horrible blue players. They're a zombie, dude. Oh, wow. That is... That is... Beautiful. This is unexpected. That's so. That's what I love about old school. Like you, you buy two cards, like okay, whatever, and then people send this in the mail with it. I mean, that's just fantastic. Thank you, thank you so much. That's just that's, this is making my day. You know these stickers. I love it. I love to put stickers on my on my deck boxes. Like, for example, here this is the old school, and here you can see when I was at Nuke Fest. I guess it wasn't NukeCon anymore, but this is the the name, the label sticker I got. Um, We've got some more stuff. So yeah, you know, I love to put just the stickers on my boxes. And the problem is I have so many stickers, which is super cool. So I've got to try to get more boxes or try to find more stuff for it, I guess. So, uh, but we still have one package to open. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about it. Maybe the package you're all waiting for. And that is this big FedEx box. FedEx. I'm just going to... Open the main thing off camera. I guess pull to open. Ah, there we go. It's kind of weird because you can't see it, but I'm opening it up. Don't worry, I'm gonna open up the package. There's the package that was in the box. Now, opening magic is hard work. Get the the tab off. Wow. I mean, it's so funny. A whole box. There are only two cards. So there we go. So this is from three for one trading, by the way, which are really great. And you can order from them through card market or directly from their shop, which I actually try to do quite a lot. Just order directly from their shop. So here we see some commercial for them. There we have the cards. Yes, yes, yes. Eureka, we've got Eurekas, yeah. And this this Eureka purchase has everything to do with um with the Rampage deck I'm building. From Bricks for Kids. Because I gotta give you the credits. You just put this list on a Timmy Discord server, and I was like, what? It's amazing. The fool I am, I started to actually get cards for it. I have, I've got a lot of cards for it already, but I didn't have any Eurekas, which was on my wants list for a long time. So I decided to, to get one. This is an Italian version. They're a little bit cheaper. Uh, not cheap though, but a little bit cheaper. Um, I wish, like so many of you, that these Legends cards were a bit more affordable because it's they're so cool to brew with. You know, Legends has a ton of cards that are just really interesting. But then when you check the price, you kind of go, oh, really, you know? Um, so it's kind of hard to assemble all the pieces, but I'm happy with this. It's it's not reprinted, obviously. It's a card I didn't have yet, so I'm really happy to add this to my collection. So for two green and two, it's a sorcery. You can play it out, and then you can start playing out cards from your hand, right? So you can play a card, then your opponent gets to play a card, then you get to play a card, etc., etc., until you both want to stop. So even if your opponent says, you know what, I don't want to play anything out anymore with Eureka, you can just continue which I think is the insane thing about it. So this works really well in decks with a lot of big creatures or in um, combo decks that have very high casting costs to get all the pieces on the board. As soon as you've got your Eureka, the four mana to cast this is enough if you have the pieces in your hand that you need. Um, so yeah, so I can play all my overly costed uh, Rampage creatures out with Eureka in one go. Is that a good thing? Well... Probably you can do a lot of better stuff with it, but but there's a plan attached to it. So um, there's a plan involving Living Plane and Lure and Rampage and Eureka. That's basically the, the gist of the deck. You know, that's I'm willing to share that with you. But once the deck is assembled, I promise I'll put a picture on and probably make a video about it as well. Um, and I got two, by the way. They're in really good condition, which is kind of nice. 
usually with three for one trading, my experience at least is the, the condition of the cards is usually a little bit better. So when they say it's good, it's usually better than that in my experience. Ooh, this is very off center though. But hey, that's old school. Very cool, very good condition. Like this, for example, they, this one is graded as a light played and this one is a good. I don't really see a big difference in it. But then again, I'm not an expert, you know. Anyway, this was, uh, this was the mill day today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below, um, you know, what, what do you think? What kind of pieces of artifact art are here on the back? Do you recognize them? And uh, again, thank you for watching. Before you go, please take a moment to, uh, to like, leave a comment and share this on your socials. All these things uh, help the channel move forward. Okay, thank you very much for watching. And for now, let's go to the end scroll. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor?